T-plus 40 seconds, it's one hell of a sight from here. We see it arcing right over top of us. We see 33 out of 33 Raptor engines lit on Super Heavy as it starts to ascend skyward. Coming up on maximum aerodynamic pressure, then only about a minute and a half until we get into hot staging. Wow, Dan, that was incredible. <laughs> we could feel the building shaking here, feel the, the vehicle's power. Now we're just about a minute away from shutting down those engines on the booster. Again, this booster is flying for its second time today. All right, so hot staging coming up. And you just watched the ninth test of the SpaceX Starship rocket. Very Looks like it was a successful the launch there, Jason. I want to bring you back in. I mean, your first observations. We heard the applause. We heard the cheers. I think it couldn't have gone better in terms of the launch. It, it really couldn't. And that's a great sign, especially, Liz, after holding twice during that launch countdown at that 40 second mark because that indicates maybe not everything was perfect but mm. it showed that they were able to hold work through some of those issues and still make the launch it's a great sign that all 33 of those engines are firing now and you'll see the separation that's coming up one thing i do want to point out everybody has been you know wowed really right by the return of these boosters that they're caught back down there at starbase again that is not going to happen this time uh, they are going to test a new procedure where they flip it, they enter at a different angle, uh, they intentionally shut down some of those return engines. Mm. All of this is to kind of test some of these not ideal scenarios, right? Mm. They want to be able to fly this over and over again, and it's not going to be perfect weather every single time. You won't have perfect conditions. So they want to make sure that they're prepared for not perfect conditions and prepared for when things uh, don't go exactly as planned and that the vehicle still works. So in this case, it'll come in at a different angle. It'll have a hard splashdown out into the Gulf. And then we'll follow and we'll see what the Starship does from there. It was uh, about, I think it was about seven minutes in on that flight in January. It was more than eight and a half minutes in mm -hmm. uh, at the flight in March where we saw that vehicle break apart. So we still have a few minutes to go to see what happens with that vehicle and if it can get past some of those trouble spots that we saw over the last few months. If it's able to successfully do that, one of the other things it's going to do, Starship will do when it's in the air today, is it's going to test deploy some kind of dummy uh, Starlink satellites. And again, this is to just test out its capability to carry a payload, to be able to deploy that payload while it's in the air. So that's one of its missions as it continues on this flight today, as well as testing out some of the hardware that is on the spacecraft today. They've changed out some of the heat shields. They've made some changes, other changes to the hardware. And again, this is just to put everything through a test. They've changed some of the tiles and the edges on the tiles just to make sure that they can kind of create the, the, the optimal setup for this so that it can make repeat flights at some point in the future. Boy, I don't care how many times we watch these, uh, Jason, just sends chills up and down your spine seeing that rocket launch and those pictures coming out, just the initial pictures coming out of that Starship rocket are just spectacular. Thank you so much for sticking with us and we got to cover it live. How exciting was that? Yep, I'm Thanks. glad we got to do that. Thanks, Liz. Absolutely. Thanks, Jason.